instructions here for all the teams. Number one, make sure you're behind the white line, please. Make sure your toes are on the line. Pacifica Christian now on the airstrip with less than 400 meters to go. Meanwhile, reflecting back to the two mile mark there, Viewpoint, Samili Academy, Pacifica Christian, Xavier College Prep, they were your top four squads with less than a mile to go. Meanwhile, St. Joseph occupying that fifth spot just ahead of Linfield Christian by one point. Village Christian only nine points behind those two squads. So another great race is going to come down to the wire here for that last qualifying spot on to next week's Division Five championships. Murray, Shane of Xavier College Prep and Chavez of Samuli Academy, all three on the airstrip. And Murray now making that one final right turn into the gauntlet and less than 100 meters to go. Clock right now at 18.48, 18.50. And Miss Murray, she's gonna be your winner here in Division Five, Heat Three. And Shane of Xavier College Prep, not too far behind her. She'll come across right about 19.02. And Shane's gonna cross there right about 19.08. Times here, Division Five, Division Three girls viewpoint. There are first squad there to cross with five. You got Kat Gutman, Conti, Alva, and Jung.
As our girls continue to finish in our third heat of Division Five, our first of four heats in Division One boys underway, and they are just about to the top of the switchbacks. They came by the mile at about 4.57. Jason Parra of Millican and Jace Deladon of Riverside Poly leading that group, but there are about 10 boys within 20 meters of each other making that turn. Now this is our only division with four heats today. So instead of having five automatic qualifiers and a sixth place in these four heats today, only the first four teams, and that is it. No fifth place or sixth place. You have to be in the first four teams. Individuals have to be in the top six in their heat to move on. Looks like Jason Parra of Milliken, the senior, has opened up a little bit on that group. Parra, the Mount Sac Division One sweepstakes champion, ran 14.58 here a few weeks ago in control, second in the state meet last year, also at 3,200 meters. He has run 8.46 for 3,200 on the track. This year he was the Moore League champion for the fourth year in a row and he is leading this heat coming down in heading to the crossover Boys now with Parra leading the pack, heading up to the top of Poop Out Hill. Let's go, Let's go, Corinne. You got it. Get back up. Let's go, Jason Parra through the first two miles. This is the fastest so far of the weekend. 9.58 at two miles. And seven seconds back, Sebastian Peraza of Saugus. He has moved up into second. Jace Deladon, though, right there in third at 10.14. Gabriel Castillo of Etiwanda. He is in fourth at 10.15. Agostini of Chaparral, 10.21. Then the Great Oak Boys, Rodriguez. Gabriel Rodriguez and Jacob Brown in sixth and seventh. Weems of Riverside Poly, Koopman of Rancho Cucamonga, Singh of Arcadia, Lopez of Roosevelt, Ransom of Millican. Chandler, Riverside Poly gives him three of the top 13. Then Gump of Great Oak and Muika of Burbank. That rounds out the top 15 at two miles. Para, the fastest time so far of the weekend, 9.58 through two miles. Team-wise, Great Oak, Milliken, and Rancho Cucamonga, the first teams with five through the two mile.
And making the U-turn there at the bottom of the reservoir, Jason Para, the senior out of Millikan, has opened up that lead to about 40 meters, and he is moving up reservoir. And that's heat two now of boys division one, heading down the airstrip, Para heading up reservoir. Peraza of Saugus is in sadly in second, little bit of a gap. Gabriel Castillo of Etiwanda trying to ensure his spot as an individual. He's moving up well in this race now since there are four heats, only the first six individuals move on. Para will be the fastest at the top of Reservoir of the Weekend right at 12.30. So he is going to be right at 15 minutes or so. Peraza of Saugus running very well. He goes over the top of the hill at 12.45. Castillo leading that group there in third now. Deladon of Riverside Poly leading that group of four there. Looks like Rodriguez and Brown moving up well for Great Oak. Here's the team score at the two mile. We had Great Oak at 58, Milligan 73, Rancho Cucamonga 80, and Polly of Riverside 93, and then quite a gap. Saugus fifth at 138. Once again, only four teams qualify as this is a four heat division. And Jay Sapara looking very strong now, right by the start line area, just about to come into the gauntlet. And Para makes the turn at 14-18. And here he comes, runner up last year in the state meet at 3,200 meters. Here he comes under the bridge, just about to come onto the grass. Jason Potta of Milliken. And he is gonna be well under 15, oh my. Cruising at 14.49. Sebastian Peraza of Saugus gonna be flirting right at 15. Para easily the fastest time of the weekend so far, and Peraza will be the second fastest time, 15.04. Here comes Castillo of Etiwanda, and Augustini of Chaparral moving up, trying to make sure he gets that individual spot. Castillo will go 15.19, and great effort, Agostini, then Rodriguez and Brown leading, leading the Great Oak contingent. Here comes Deladon and Koopman of Rancho Cucamonga. Great Oak three and four. A little brotherly love there coming around the corner. We're still under 16 minutes right now. We're at 15.55, all these boys under 16. And we can give you a par's official winning time, 14.48. Oh my, Peraza, 15.04. Castillo, 15.19. Agostini, what a great effort, 15.22. Brown at 15.23, and Rodriguez of Great Oak, also of 23. Deladon, 15.30, Koopman of Rancho, 1537, Gump of Great Oak and Franco of Great Oak, both at 1542. Great Oak easily the first team with five. Milliken and Rancho Cucamonga also with five. And now looking for that final fourth qualifying spot. We're still under 17 minutes.
Saugus has five across. It'll be Saugus and if Riverside Poly's fifth man can get up in it. Roosevelt also up in it now. Riverside Poly moves in there just three spots ahead of Saugus right now. Two spots. It is fluid because we're waiting for fourth and fifth men on qualifying teams to finish out the scoring. Right now, Riverside Poly and Saugus, two points separated for that fourth spot. And now that goes down to one point. race starting to solidify a bit. Great Oak will win that heat. Milliken will get second. Rancho Cucamonga will get third. And it looking like Riverside Poly is going to get that four spot. That lead now five points over Saugus. That was the first five teams at one mile. 